This is going to be a very quick tutorial on the DermKey deck. Uh, now the DermKey deck is hosted on Anki Hub, which may be new to you. Um, it is an Anki deck. Anki Hub is an add-on for Anki. It basically allows for collaborating on Anki flashcards and improving things. Um, in a very quick review here, um, essentially if somebody has a change that they want to make, they recognize that something is wrong with the card or they need to make an improvement, they can submit a suggestion. Those suggestions are uh, uploaded. Everybody is, can like those comments. They can comment on them. They can say this is a good or bad suggestion. Um, once those are approved by a deck maintainer, um, then those are uh, uh, synced to everybody that is using the deck. So it's basically a way for us to continually update the deck by improving it, adding images, all sorts of things as you'll see in a little bit. The first step is to go to AnkiHub.net. That's the home screen here. You're going to scroll down or you can click create an account here. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, that uh, here is the different plans. The DermKey deck is free. It is completely free. Um, that was part of uh, making sure that we were able to get a lot of images to use. So you do not need to pay for AnkiHub in order to use that. I just want to make sure I emphasize that. Um, you can click on the free plan or create an account. Um, I've already logged into my account here, but this is what you'll see um, when you get logged in. Again, it might prompt you to upgrade. You don't need to upgrade. Um, you can see the DermKey deck here. You're going to go ahead and click subscribe there. Um, click subscribe. Um, now it's going to pull you into here and I'll show you there's a couple useful things um, before I actually get this on Anki. Um, this screen here is going to be helpful. One, there's the wiki here that has a lot of good information. Um, you can click on that there. I have it pulled into another tab here and I'm going to show you in a minute what's included in that information. Um, but that's, that's helpful. Um, you can see a lot of the cards here so you can actually click on them and see information pull up, make suggestions. Um, you are subscribed here. You can click here to manage protected data. Um, this is a little more advanced feature, but this basically allows you to protect fields. You, By default, the personal notes, missed questions, and textbook fields are protected, meaning you can put your own information in there. It will never overwrite them. So I'd recommend putting any of your own notes into those fields. You can also add protected tags. So if you're adding your own tags to the deck to help keep things organized, make sure that you add something in there um, so that that's there. Um, but basically, that's the uh, very simple version getting started here. I'm going to go back out to the explore screen. Um, it will likely prompt you to go through this uh, getting started walkthrough here. Um, and you, again, you don't need to choose a membership. Um, if you don't have Anki desktop installed, install that first. And then you're going to need to install the Anki Hub add-ons. I'm going to click that and go ahead and download that. It's going to give me the Anki Hub add-on. And when I'm in my uh, documents here you can see is in my downloads so if I were to click that while well, Anki's open it will automatically install the add-on I already have it installed um, if you don't have an Anki web account you'll need to create one of those in order to sync with Anki web if you're using the mobile versions um, and, and then you can sync so that's really the first couple steps here I'm gonna go over to Anki and show you how this works the first one here is to sign in to Anki hub on the app so you're going to again need to take this download um, so it's this file here i'm gonna down click it and then it would install um, i'll go ahead and show you what that looks like i'm gonna say yes um, it's gonna say it installed please restart anki so go ahead and restart anki now i've already done that um, and then you're gonna see this menu up here the anki hub menu click sign in to anki hub and then go ahead and sign in now that you're signed in, this menu should look a little bit differently. Um, and you're going to go to Sync with Anki Hub. You've already um, done the subscription on the website. You're going to go ahead and click Sync. It's going to say, we need to do this. If you want to use our recommended settings, then check this box. Of course, I recommend that, but you can um, uncheck that if you want. I'm going to click Install, and it's going to go ahead and install the deck. Um, now, very quickly, you will get cards here. Um, that will have, you know, you got a lot here. Um, but if you go up here, you'll notice that the media sync is still downloading. So if you don't have all the media, just wait for that to finish up. Um, but you'll have the deck here with all of the, um, this, these are chapters based on the Alicon textbook, but most uh, everything is organized in the tags. So if I scroll down here, you'll see there's a derm key tag, uh, the Ali Khan tags, and then each of those has multiple sub tags. Uh, there's also sub tags or tags here for dermatographics, derm, derm mnemonics. Um, so you'll get a whole bunch of stuff. So again, notice the images are not here and, and that's because they're still downloading. That's okay.
back over here on the Anki Hub website. Uh, just for future reference, app.onkihub.net is a quick way to get to this screen. Um, I'm going to click on the Derm key deck. Um, I'm going to go through this wiki um, quickly as well, and I want you to be able to see more about that. Um, but you'll notice that all the notes are here, so you can actually search them here if you needed to. Um, you could click on a note here. Uh, let's say that you noticed that there was an issue in this. You could suggest or make a change. Um, you could say, let's say there was a content error, and let's say this is supposed to be 30 weeks, so you would change that to 30. And the rationale here, you could say Bologna page, you know, 234. I'm making this up, but essentially you could do that and then submit a suggestion. I'm not going to do that because that's not accurate, but I just wanted you to be able to see how that works. You can also click on community suggestions and be able to see all the suggestions that have been made here so that you can see this person has made a suggestion um, for these images to be added to the cards. So you could go in here and like them. You could say, I think that's a great idea. Um, if you didn't like them, you could always add a comment. Um, you can also click show closed in order to see ones that were accepted or rejected and you can filter them as such. You can see that changes were made. This is why the change were made. And I'll show you how to view this from within Anki as well. Um, but I want to skip over to the wiki because this is important. This has a lot of really helpful things. Uh, always a great place to reference first if you have any questions. Um, so uh, basically, this is just explaining a lot of what I've already explained to you, that this is on Anki Hub. It's based on Ali Khan. Lots of great images from people who have given us permission to do so. Um, you're watching the video tutorial right now. But this one here, what do all the tags and decks mean, is going to be really helpful. Um, so here's all the tags. And you can see, just if you ever have a question about what something means, means. Same thing with what are the fields for? Um, what is going in each field? Uh, you know, we're protecting these fields. So that's why it says this in there. Um, there's a little bit of a confusion here. Additional resources we're currently using for derm mnemonics. We're waiting on a fix so that we can actually edit the note type to add a derm mnemonics field. Um, so that may be uh, an update in the future. Um, if you want to customize the note styling, there's an add on for that. This one right here, I want to bring your attention to how to submit changes. Um, because we need to uh, make sure we appropriately cite any of the images and we can only use certain images, um, there's instructions here and resources who have given us permission, such as DermNet, uh, Derm Atlas, Skin Deep. Um, there's a lot of really good ones Dermoscopy, Derm Path. We've got a ton of great ones from Dr. Gardner and Faringer. Um, big thanks to them. Um, so, anyway, th these are really important instructions. Shows you how to cite them. You need to make sure they're cited correctly or we can't add them to the deck. Um, and then just down here, big thank you to people who've been contributing. These are major contributors, especially Jay and Arjun, who made most of the deck, um, really. And then things have been continued to be updated. Um, and then, um, you know, these are instructions for downloading, which we're going over. But I just wanted to make sure you're aware of this so that you could go through this um, as you need it in the future. So I showed you how to make a suggestion um, on the web app here. Um, I'm clicking on this. It's actually much easier from within Anki. So I'm going to go over to Anki. Um, here's a card. You can see we're now at the point where our images have downloaded, thankfully. These are these great images from Dr. Faringer. Um, and I noticed an issue with this card. You can see that there is a parentheses here, but there's not one here. Um, so simple thing, but an edit nonetheless. So I'm going to go ahead and add that edit. i make sure that it's not bold. Um, and then I'm going to click Suggest a Change. I'm going to put this in the spelling and grammar because it's not really much. Added and parentheses. I'm going to click OK. Really straightforward, um, but very, very simple. So if I go back to this screen, under the Community Suggestions button here, you'll see that that suggestion was made by me, and you can see that it added that there. So the deck maintainers and deck owners would be able to approve this, and, and it would sync to everybody. Um, you can also click on this to edit the suggestion if there's things that need to be edited about that. Um, but wanted to make you aware of that. Um, just so you are aware, there is an Anki Hub button to reset changes when you're in the browser. Or if I go back here um, to the main screen, um, well, it's not letting me show up for a second. There we go. Um, you can click this here to sync with Anki Hub. You would then get those updates. Um, I'm going to go back into the browser. Um, we'll just find uh, any of these random cards. You can click View on Anki Hub or View Note History. So if I click View on Anki Hub, it's going to pull this up so I could make changes there. Or I could click View Note History, would pull this up, and you could see all changes. 
that are closed. So anything that has been made to this card in the past, which in this case is just the one, uh, but that can sometimes be helpful if things get updated and kind of let you go back and look and see, wait, what was changed and uh, why was this updated? Uh, there's also tags added along the side here that show you all the updates that, that came in and what different types there are. And if you're adding images to multiple cards, you can actually select multiple cards, right click on them, and then bulk suggest notes. Um, you can suggest deleting notes, all sorts of things. So lots of cool features, but that at least would hopefully get you started with the Dern Key deck.